I recently bought a house because interest rates are excellent and I thought it would be fun to set all my money on fire. In any event, I repainted the entire house with our new 2023 interior loadout. Let's talk about it, shall we? Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here, coming to you from my new basement studio. Uh, it's a little bit of a work in progress down here, but it's gonna get cooler very soon, I promise. Anyways, in this video, I'll be going over uh, all the products I used to repaint this house. I'm gonna go over uh, what I used on the ceiling, trim, doors, walls, as well as how I applied them, um, and also uh, how much I paid for each product, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of baseline for pricing. So let's get into it. First up, I'm going to give an honorable mention to the primer I used uh, just for some uh, minor drywall repairs and uh, some spackling and stuff like that that we did around the house. Uh, I used PrepRite Pro Block Primer from Sherwin Williams. Uh, it is the same exact primer that's in the multi-purpose can, that's that blue can, that's usually what uh, homeowners end up buying, but the PrepRite is kind of the contract version, and it's the same exact product as far as I know. Uh, we laid it down with a two and a half inch Corona Cortez, and uh, we used Pro Doozy FTPs from Wooster. These are uh, half inch nap, and they're the nine inch roller covers. So nothing too crazy, and currently I'm paying $25.99 for that product. Uh, so yeah, pretty standard interior latex primer, nothing crazy, moving on. Uh, next up is the ceilings, and uh, I should have probably said this earlier in the video, but none of this is sponsored content. I'm, uh, like, it's not a, this is pretty much all Sherwin-Williams products, but I'm not sponsored by them. I just happen to use their stuff because I like it. Onward to ceilings. So for pretty much every ceiling in this house, except for the hall bath, uh, I used Promar ceiling paint from Sherwin-Williams. Uh, it's a wonderful product. It's my favorite ceiling paint currently. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, we use that on pretty much everywhere. And again, same application. I used a two and a half inch Corona Cortez. In the B roll you're now seeing, uh, I was using a nine inch roller. Uh, that was mainly for the video uh, that we were uh, shooting for something else. Uh, but uh, for the rest of the house, we were using uh, the 14 inch roller covers, which it just goes much faster. And this is becoming my uh, favorite setup pretty much for walls and ceiling. Just moves really quick. Currently, I'm paying $22.99 a gallon for Promar, and uh, just if you're listening to that, keep in mind that uh, I'm a contractor, my brother and I have our own painting company, if you're new to the channel, and uh, we move a decent amount of product. I don't get the best pricing as far as like some of the bigger crews that I'm aware of, uh, but if you are a uh, civilian and come in and try and buy Promar, particularly this product, uh, Sherwin-Williams is really... Uh, they're slightly annoying about this product for just regular homeowners. If you don't have access to a contractor account, don't pay what they're asking. It's like $80 or something stupid if you ask for it. So if you don't have access to a contractor account, go get a different ceiling paint. It's a great product at the prices that I pay or like sub $30. It's a good product. Um, I do know that they are releasing, pr um, uh, Sherwin Williams premium ceiling paint. I think it released like last week or like very recently. I haven't used it yet, uh, but that is more accessible to uh, you normies, um, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'll be doing a review of that in the near future. Anyways, next up is trim and doors. And I use the same product throughout, which is emerald urethane trim enamel from Sherwin Williams. And the sheen I picked was semi-gloss. Uh, so I did a lot of kind of tricky painting in here as far as, uh, a lot of different colors. We had multicolored doors upstairs and uh, black doors on the first level and then uh, the casings and everything were white. Um, but I used emerald urethane for everything, semi-gloss and everything, um, even for the deep bases because uh, emerald does come in satin uh, in the urethane, but sometimes the satin is a little bit weird with the darker colors. It's my current favorite trim paint, muy bueno. I couldn't be happier with uh, how some of the doors turned out. I think for one of the doors, I ended up having to do duration semi-gloss because I couldn't get the color uh, in one of the bases. It's like that orange color up there. Uh, I really liked how that turned out. Um, pause for the sump pump. It rained a lot last night. What are you gonna do? Currently, I'm paying right around $53.95 a gallon for emerald urethane. And I laid down all of this product with my newish favorite trim brush. Uh, which is a Corona Vegas. I'm gonna talk about this brush in a future video, uh, but it's excellent, particularly if you're laying down a hybrid like Emerald Urethane or Advance from Benjamin Moore. Uh, 
Muy bueno. Onward to the big shift, uh, which is uh, what I used on the walls. So for the last, I don't know, decade, we've been using duration mat on the walls. And uh, my sales rep is a slick fella. Uh, hats off to you, Caleb. Um, and uh, he reached out and I was telling him that I'm painting my new house. And uh, he offered to kind of cut me a sweet deal on emerald mat, which is a, it's the pretty much the highest tier of paint for interior painting that uh, Sharon Williams offers. And uh, I had used it a fair amount on some jobs that we've done, uh, whether we couldn't find duration or the base was different or whatever. So I am, I was fairly familiar kind of coming into this job. Uh, I got a pretty sweet deal just for uh, my own personal uh, use. I think I paid like 37 bucks a gallon uh, for this job, but what I'm paying in the field right now is right around $49 a gallon. And I'm going to do a full review on that product, uh, which will be the video coming out after this one, and I will link to it at the end of this video um, when it is available. But I laid it down with a two and a half inch Corona Cortez as far as all the cut ins. Uh, and then when we rolled, depending on the size of the room and how much of the product we were using, uh, we used the same roller covers, which is the uh, half inch nap. Uh, Wooster Pro Doozy FTPs, either in the 9-inch or 14-inch variety. It was a pleasure to work with. Uh, you can see kind of the stack of paint behind me. Most of that is emerald matte, and it's what I used on the walls pretty much everywhere in the house. Um, so, but uh, really happy with it. The walls in this house were extremely thirsty. They sucked in a lot of paint, particularly on the first coat. But on the second coat, I was extremely pleased with how how well the paint spread, the finish quality is mwah, and uh, just a lot of other excellent things. But I used Emerald Matte, it was awesome, and uh, it was. it's also been really nice to touch up. I have a two-year-old, and she's already kind of starting to bang up the walls, and I have some uh, markers and crowns and pen repairs to uh, address later. Uh, but yeah, so we did some funky color schemes and I did some really dark colors as well with the emerald matte and it did extremely well. There was a couple that I went with flat, uh, emerald flat on the walls and uh, seeing how the emerald matte performed even with the deep bases, I could have just used that, but uh, I'm happy with how everything turned out and it's, it's sweet. So that is our loadout for 2023, Promar ceiling paint on all of the ceilings. Emerald urethane trim enamel and semi-gloss on trim and doors, and emerald matte on all of the walls and also the ceilings in bathrooms that have a shower or a tub in them because it's got the uh, mold and mildew resistant stuff built into it. So that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Please. Amazing.